So Johnny, another clean sheet on the road. Um, what's your thoughts on that performance? Yeah, first of all, delighted with a clean sheet. Um, tough place to come. They had a good result in their last game here. Um, good one 0 win for them. So um, we knew they'd be in buoyant mood. So, so to keep them out, obviously pleased with that. Um, scrappy game, to be honest. Uh, I think conditions didn't really help. Pitch was pitch was pretty poor, pretty bobbly. Didn't sort of didn't help when. Uh, you know, you're trying to play and, and conditions got a little bit tricky in the second half. So it probably weren't a great spectacle, um, to be honest. But um, yeah, we, we take our point, we take our clean sheet and we get back down the road. Adjusted the shape a little bit today. What was the think about that one? Yeah, just we, we, we felt we had, to, we had to adjust it because, you know, we was throwing a couple of curveballs sort of quite late in the day. Um, obviously preparing for this game you know, with Riley Tyler, um, with, with, with Woody Paris and uh, Obviously, you know, those two guys, uh, Riley and uh, Paris, was recalled from their loans a bit unexpectedly, uh, and, and Woody picked up a little little knock in the week. So uh, we just felt with what what we had at our disposal. Obviously, um, you know, Zach only just meeting up with a group again last night, so he's not not actually trained, and Sam Pearson obviously only trained one day. So we felt like what we had uh, in the building this week to work on. And in the short time that we had to work on, this was the best way to go uh, for this game. Obviously, I had to switch the starting eleven around, but looking at the bench, you had a lot more attacking options. That must be a positive moving forward. Yeah, that was nice. Obviously, we've changed the, um, we've made two sort of uh, forward substitutions today, which you know haven't always had the luxury to do. Um, I've had, I've had decent defensive options of late, you know, and experience, but. Piercy and Brownie came into the team today, so so the bench defensively looked a little bit different today. But we did have a few attacking options. Nice to get you know, Coonsy some more minutes, and, and obviously nice to have Zach back with us and, and get him on the pitch. So it, it, it's nice that you know when you're looking at it and you're trying to affect the game in a positive way from the bench um, that you have got those options. What do you feel Sam Pearson's going to bring to the team? He's an exciting player. I just felt today probably wasn't the right game uh, to get him in, especially the state of the game. Uh, and, and the shape that we was playing, it probably it was probably more get some uh, the, t the two forwards on. Um, but yeah, he's, he's an exciting wide player. Can play can play both sides. Can play off the front, and uh, you know he wants to get at people. He's you know, an attacking winger. He's got pace and he's sharp. So uh, in that final third, he'll be a threat. I'm sure he will. Just lastly, how do you feel after you know quite a difficult week? Yeah, listen, it's been a tricky week because. Um, you know, as pleased as we are, I'm you know, delighted for, for, for Riley, for example, um, that he's gone and got you know a move to to a higher level, big club in Portsmouth, and, and obviously, you know, it's a big move for his career. So uh, the boy's been unbelievable for us, and um, you couldn't find a nicer kid. So I'm really pleased for him. But on the other hand, you know, we are gutted that, that he's not with us, and, and obviously we was preparing for this game, especially with him in the team. A mainstay, and obviously Paris probably wouldn't have been involved in this game. But again, he's been, been an important player for the football club um, this season so far. So, and uh, yeah, again, a little bit out of the blue, a little bit unexpected with those two guys. We, you know, the dialogue that we had been having with their with their clubs was um, that they was really happy with their progression and how it was going. But again, I think that's just. It's a testament to the football club and the work that we've done with those guys uh, in helping their development. That, that you know they've done so well that um, teams from from higher up have come in from, and, uh, and that's the nature of of where we're at as a as a football club and the level. So it's you know it's bittersweet. I'm, I'm pleased for those lads to, to get those opportunities, but uh, obviously it's important for us and you know, to not have our captain as well today. It's sort of a bit of a uh, double whammy really to, to not have Woody and that, that, that sort of come a bit late in the day as well so it felt like it was it was you know set up for us maybe to not come here and, and get anything the way that the week had gone so far but uh, we've come here we put in a really solid performance we've got a good point and we've got a clean sheet and you could see the lads were fighting and um, they'll always do that you know, no matter what and obviously now we, you know, we need to get to work and, uh, and just try and bring in some reinforcements and uh, give the boys that we have got here just a little bit of help that they need to, uh, to try and kick off.